So I just want to tell you guys that substitutes in production and complements in production, I decided to put in the definitions for them for you in the end. So I hope it does good for you. And we left off at the number of suppliers. So the number of suppliers is pretty simple. It means the larger the number of firms that produces a good, the greater the supply of that good. So for example, a firm enters an industry. So enters an industry. Then the supply for that industry, the supply for that particular industry that the firm entered increases. And if the firm leaves the industry, if the firm leaves the industry, then the supply for that industry that the firm left decreases. It's pretty simple for the number of suppliers. The next thing is technology, and technology is the factors of production used to produce a good. Pretty much, you can think of them as resources, is what we need to produce a good, and, and technology change occurs when a new method is discovered that lowers the cost of production. So, as, as an example, that's an ex as an example, say that we have an, we found a new method, new method is used in a factory, used in factories to make to make uh, computer chips, which I'll abbreviate computer chips. And this has this have lowered the cost. This have lowered the cost and uh, and increase the supply of chips. Increase the supply. Increase the supply of chips. So this is what technology does to uh, to the supply curve in most cases. Pretty much technology improves and we find a method in which we can produce more of something at a lower cost and yeah then the last point i want to talk about is the state of nature and state of nature is all the natural factors that influence production such as weather natural environment and etc so as an example of that for example uh good weather would give good uh with good weather would increase the supply of agricultural products bad weather give a bad supply of agricultural products and decreases supply. So yeah, pretty much uh, I can say like good weather, good weather equals uh, increase in supply for agricultural products, agricultural goods. Oh boy. Yeah, so good weather increases supply for agricultural goods. Bad weather is a decrease in supply. Decrease in supply for agricultural goods. For agricultural goods. So again, this is pretty intuitive as well. So a state of nature is pretty much everything that we can control, Mother Nature, how it affects our supply, you know, if there was bad drought and we can't grow anything that will obviously decrease the amount of supply of our, of our food, like our vegetables and stuff. But if we have really good weather for our most of the year, then that would give us good supply of product, a uh, good um, increase in uh, production of agricultural goods and that's it we've finished change in supply and in the next video we would probably do probably would be doing uh, a change in quantity of supply versus a change in supply so again this is kind of like what we did in demand and I hope you look forward to it